Hi, what's up guys? Welcome back. I am Beaker and today we're gonna check out well, you can see it right here. We got some crazy Clash Royale footage to check out today, man. We got a level one player at the bottom here. It's Tin. What's up, Tin? We've shown him a bunch of times before. Dude got to uh, Legend Arena as a level seven, which was pretty cool. Now he's just got this little level one account, and we're going to see what he can do, man. Cool. What are we going to call this? I was thinking I might call this one level, three crowns. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> oh, wait. Was that, a, was that a spoiler? Forget what I just said. Anyway, the replay has started. We're gonna watch this right now. And it is a level one account. So that means every card is gonna be level one. Okay, cool. That kind of sucks, right? But he's got a bunch of epic cards and even rare cards. And that helps a lot. Of course, we know level one epic cards are not that bad, dude. I use that level one P.E.K.K.A. on my mini account all the time. Level one Witch, again, is not that bad. He's also got he doesn't have the P.E.K.K.A. I just used that as an example. But he has the level 1 giant skeleton. That thing is going to be so useful in this case. Because look, he can use it on defense as like a last measure of defense. Or he can rush with it. Let's see what he does. So right here, you know, it's kind of tough for him to defend, man. That that giant was huge. Like what? I, I, I didn't really catch what level that giant was. But it was, it was huge. <laughs> High level giants are just so annoying when you're low level. I mean, on my mini account, it is the the single thing that ruins me is high level giants because you know I just don't bring the mini Pekka. I don't bring uh, stuff like that that can really take down a giant quickly. So right here we got some level eight barbs and a level seven minion horde. This guy is really just rushing a little too fast here, and that witch is just gonna take everything out, dude. The witch is such a valuable card at the low level. I love it. I'm always telling you guys that I think. Um, I think the witch is my best card on my mini account anyway. It just dominates this this level of Clash Royale. The witch is sick. So he actually made it to the tower with the with the giant skeleton. He's gonna get the bomb hit, and he's also gonna get a prince hit. He just, he just took the tower. He just took the tower. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I mean, I, I really didn't expect it would come that fast, but he's already got one tower down. And keep in mind, this is this is a. Uh, what a six level difference i mean level one versus level seven this is insane so right here he had a couple of goblin huts down i think that's a good idea to use the goblin hut because even though it's level one it creates level three spear goblins so you know that's that's sort of a way of of using his level one cards as best he can so right here, level six Valkyrie, dude. So much higher than anything Tin has. He takes it out. Now he's getting a nice little push together here. Oh, wow. That guy, that was definitely a, a mistake on this guy's part. He used the fireball to take out the tower, but now Tin has a huge rush going, and this guy does not have a fireball. I mean, what if he had a fireball right now? He could totally decimate this crowd of troops. They're going to get up there to the, the King Tower right now and definitely definitely take it down i mean I'm, I'm pretty sure there's two witches yeah prince wow <laughs> one level three crowns that's like so cheesy dude oh my god I, i'm gonna i'm gonna call it this video that though what was it one level three crowns get some cool all right let's let's check out another man here we go all right buddies what do we have here this isn't the same guy is it same player i don't mean to say guy he might be a guy. Anyway, let's keep going, man. I guess we have another level 7 player. It's not the same person. He has a slightly different deck, but he does have the Witch. He does have the uh, the Goblin Hut as well. So we're seeing kind of a similar deck on the other side here. Let's see what Tin can do against uh, a Ping 26. Let's go, bro. So this guy's starting off with kind of a swarm here. He dropped the, the Spear Goblins, and he has some Goblins coming from the Goblin Hut. He's got some minions, too. They're all going to get dominated, though, again, by the Witch. Dude, MVP Witch, thank you so much for... Just owning, like, all the time. I kind of like this push right here. I've been trying it out on my mini account using using Prince and Witch. And if that Witch stays with the Prince, it's pretty sick. She sort of protects him from everything. And if you get to the tower, good game. Cool. So here's a nice little push here. <laughs> Tin's going to defend with his level 1 Valkyrie against that level 5. You can see the massive difference. It really stands no chance. But he did slow it down enough. There it is. Done. Cool. The the day is saved, kind of, for now. So that giant skeleton is really going to be, like I said earlier, the last line of defense here. He can always just drop that giant skeleton and just, boom, blow everything up that's there. And, I mean, it really doesn't cost that much. I mean, it's not exactly cheap. But what else does he have that he can use? If he doesn't have the witch, I'd say that giant skeleton is probably the next line of defense. At least the witch is a little cheaper, though. So he's going to drop that right now and probably get a prince 
Yeah. Get a Prince Witch push going here. Let's see what he does. There it is. He can probably take out that Valkyrie and then get right up to the tower. Let's see it. Get get some, dude. Get, oh, no. That, that, that knight is definitely going to slow him down. That's a level 8 knight. So much higher than anything Tin has. Kind of intimidating here. But, hey, he's going to keep going, dude. Here we go. So taking some hits, pretty much uh, nothing has happened yet. I want to see some action, dude. I, I want to see some some three crowns. After all, this is one level, three crowns. <laughs> Let's go. Here we go. So some some level one spear goblins for the win. Wow. I didn't realize he had level one spear goblins. Wow. <laughs> he, he hasn't really used those much, but it, it's cool to see him. Cool to see him. So right here, we got a nice push. The giant skeleton up front with a lot of backup behind it. We've got some goblins. We've got a witch. Now we've got a baby dragon. This is going to be crazy, dude. He, he made it. He made it to the tower with the bomb. There it is. It's going to hit. He's also getting some hits with the baby dragon. He's going to... Mm, I thought he was going to take out that tower. He still might. He's going right back up with another giant skeleton. He's got the witch there as well. This could be it. There's only 10 seconds left. If he takes out that tower right now... He's got this. He's got a ton of backup again. Just continually dropping back up behind that push. He's got the witch there. This guy's coming up with some small cards to defend, but I don't think he's... No. No. Dude. <laughs> he did it, man. Woo! Alright, so this was not one level, three crowns. It was one level... One... <laughs> <laughs> what am I trying to do? What are you trying to do? What level one crown? Still pretty sick for a level one player to get up against this level seven and get the victory. I love it. For the final one, though, let's try to find another three crown. I think there's some in here. Let's go. This one's going to be sick. Yes. So we got the pretty much the same thing again. We've got a level seven versus 10 level one. Look at what this guy has. Kind of a crazy deck, man. This guy up top, he has the P.E.K.K.A. He's got the baby dragon. He's got the witch. He's got a very, very expensive deck. Let's see what he does with this. He's going to wait. Probably a good decision. He doesn't want to get caught off guard with all that expensive stuff. If he starts pushing the other lane or something, Tin can just go right up and probably three crown him. And I bet that's how Tin is going to win on this. I bet he's going to take advantage of this guy having a really, really expensive deck. We'll see. So this guy's got, hey man, same level card. He's got a level one witch, same as Tin. So that's the cool thing about epics, you know, they, they kind of level the playing field a little bit, especially at the lower levels of Royale, because most people just have level one epics or maybe level two, you know, usually people don't have level four, stuff like that uh, down here anyway. And Tin, yeah, look at that. They have the same level prints. So really, I mean, this is not that much different, even though their levels are completely different. <laughs> look at that level one Valk down at the bottom right. Yeah, Tin took the tower, dude. I wasn't even paying attention. He took the tower already with a Prince Baby Dragon push. That was kind of cool. I mean, the Baby Dragon can definitely offer a little help. I would rather have the Witch, I think, with that Prince. But hey, Baby Dragon for the win. Cool. So now, wow, this guy's coming up with just the Baby Dragon, pretty much. The Witch should be able to take care of it and those level one goblins. Yeah. Yeah, buddies. Wow. You just, you just don't see level one goblins very often, dude. It's like, it just looks funny to see the one above their heads because I'm so used to seeing it say nine, 10, even 11. One? Oh, okay, cool. Gonna start off a push here. This might not actually be a push. This might end up just being defense. He might just blow up everything that's coming up the field with this bomb. And that's gonna be such a good trade off. I mean, he's taking out barbs. He's taking out a witch with pretty much six elixirs. So boom, done, cool. And now the baby dragon can go up to the king tower. Dude, I can't believe he's already at 1900 on the king tower. I mean, he's pretty much in the lead here. Yeah, pretty much tied up if you really want to want to think about it. So let's see what happens next. Doing a little Valk Prince push on the left here. Oh, oh no. Oh, no. The, that minion horde was devastating. Definitely just took out the Valk in like a second. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Okay, so that push got totally owned he didn't really get anything done, but this this witch here is going to take out this crowd of skeletons and minions, and then he's going to get right back on on the wa wagon. What, what do people say there? Uh, on the horse, uh, back on the horse, and go up the field. Here's the Valk, the Prince, and the Witch going up to that King Tower, and they can get it right here. W what is this guy doing? Which which what? What just happened? <laughs> I think that guy just gave up. I I don't even know what happened. He's like level one. Just, just kill me. 
Just, just finish me. <laughs> All right, dudes, this was pretty fun. This was interesting to see what you can do with level one cards, right? I mean, it's kind of like, it, it's kind of trolly. Like, can you imagine getting beat by level one cards? You'd be like, bad day for me, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> it's like, oh man. Anyway, guys, let me know if you enjoyed this video. I definitely did. Maybe we can do it again. If we have some more cool footage from Tin, we can show you guys. Let us know if you're interested. If Tin gets to the next arena, uh, Spell Valley, I'll definitely show that. I mean, that's really not that far away. It's a couple hundred trophies away, I think. Maybe eh, a little more than that. But anyway, if he gets there, we'll show you guys. Deal. I will see you guys next time. Peace.